Are you ready to film a live Pistons the Podcast here at the Festival of yes. Exceptional? Oh, That's nice. Cool, right, here we go. Let's see how we get on. Oh, what a day. What a day indeed, mate. <laughs> you know, deck chairs aren't as comfortable as you'd think they would be. No, they? What you're saying is the pop crates in the garage... Yeah, I are, reckon so. ...are more comfortable than the deck yeah. chairs. Ooh. Fair enough. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here with Dad, and we're at the Festival of the Unexceptional 2024 for a live, kind of, podcast. A on-location podcast. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. I'm about... I'm about... Worn out. <laughs> You're about knackered for the day. I'm about worn out, folks. We, we've had a really busy day, so we have got two cars here at the Festival of the Unexceptional. The Proton Black Knight, which is in its own sort of special area of previous winners, and the Proton 1.5 SE, which is on the uh, Sustain fuel stand. We'll have a chat more about what we're doing with Sustain later on uh, in a couple more videos on the channel. But... We've been here, well, since before everybody else got yeah. here. Yeah. There will be videos coming to the channel showing... I was up at half past four this morning. <laughs> showing just how not busy it was when we arrived. You, you were up at what time? Half past four. Ah. Was it half past four? Yeah. We left your house at half past five, didn't we? Yes, yeah, so we left my house at half past five. We got some petrol uh, in, the, in the cars. And then we got here. It took us about, what, an hour? Yeah, not long. Uh, it was an eventful it was an eventful journey on the way here. We'll talk about oh, that in a minute. Oh, no, don't tell the people uh, that. But it's been a really busy week, and actually, the Proton Black Knight, I'm not happy with how it's looked today, because it is quite dirty, isn't it? It's a disgrace, my friend. Mm. It's a disgrace. Um, it, considering Sam uh, next to me in his Astra <laughs> Merit has spent most of the morning cleaning it, uh, and I've spent less than 30 minutes during the black night it is well letting the team down a bit so if you have seen the black night today and you've gone hang on a minute that's a bit dirty apologies because i've been working really hard this week and we've spent a lot of time yesterday cleaning this did you watch the uh, the live video no i've got better <laughs> things to do than watching a bloke washing his car at the moment 10 o'clock at night so i did a live video on the youtube of me washing and waxing and snow foaming and cleaning the 1.5 sc and actually it's come up quite well hasn't it it looks looks quite good i went today. on my phone to turn off your alerts to my phone from your doorbell oh thought, the ring doorbell because i'm going to bed now <laughs> so i turned that off so i didn't look Ding, ding, ding. So I had about three hours sleep. How much sleep did you oh, have? Oh, I got loads. You know when you're going to the airport and you know you're going on holiday? Yeah. So you don't really sleep. That's how I was feeling last night. Um, I got about three hours sleep and Mrs. John Cooper was hotter than the blooming sun for some reason. Um, so yeah, I got up at four o'clock, left the house at half five. Well, you've got a hot wife then, haven't you? <laughs> hey? As people tell me. Yeah, you've you know. got a hot wife. Well, there you go. Have you? No. <laughs> no, 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 You're in trouble no, for no, that. No, 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 no. Uh, yours has moved out momentarily. No, looking she's, after she's, she's home at the moment. Oh, is she? She's back home now. Jan um, isn't very happy, though. No, I bet, I bet she's not. <laughs> I bet she's not. So... Uh, we left home and the journey was okay. I was driving the Black Knight, you were driving this one, the 1.5 yeah. SE. How did it go? Was it all right? It went well. Lovely drive. Um, I had a more panicky drive here, not because the Black Knight was not driving well, <laughs> but because on the last sort of eight miles here, well, <laughs> Dad was uh, driving in front and I saw in the next breath or well, next moment poof, a whole load of pigeon feathers and a disgruntled pigeon that had come rolling over the top of the SE tell us about that well normally pigeons they look up and they go and go don't they oh there's a car coming yeah but he didn't he went I can't <laughs> believe that's a proton and it's a proton and it was too late getting up and I he hit my bumper and window so it was okay wasn't it the, 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 it seemingly okay well, it, we're it not sure to be honest off with you it, it sort of flew away um obviously you didn't hit the pigeon on purpose but my concern the second i saw that was oh no you've cracked the windscreen of the 1.5 se but what are the chances of that poor little pigeon getting hit by a proton well, considering yeah. there's that many protons here at the festival, yeah, of the but it could have been an Audi or a Quite Volkswagen a few. or 
Anything yeah, but yeah. A proton? Yeah. What's the chances of <laughs> What's that? What's the chances of that? So Dave the Pigeon has gone and told all his friends this you afternoon. Watch out for them protons. Watch out for the protons. It's because the proton was running so silent it didn't hear me coming. It hasn't damaged the car though, has it? You're the one that'll know. Potentially. Well, I, I haven't had a good right. look, but it only tickled the pigeon, it didn't it? It made me jump more than it did him, I think. Well, on the way in, I did see that I'd also got some feathers attached to my front uh, front bumper. So, Dave, Dave's feeling a bit naked this afternoon. Anyway, so we've arrived at the festival in Exceptional, and we got set up. We got here way before everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah sort of, I don't know, half, half six. Uh, yeah. Had a wander around, got set up, and then went to... Uh, the top gate where they were letting everybody in, and we watched the whole convoy yeah, pretty much. Loads didn't we? and loads and loads and loads of old cars. The and new cars got turned round. Yeah, <laughs> they did, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, go away. The, the pink sticker of. Go uh, away. Of You're rejection. too new. So <laughs> you go that way. <laughs> so last year there was a little bit of an issue in that modern classics. Uh, sorry, unexceptional classics and modern cars used the same entrance, yeah. didn't they? And it was not a shambles, but it was. Uh, a bone of contention for a lot of people visiting the show. So this year, two entrances. Uh, the one entrance for the unexceptional classics and another entrance for modern cars. However, a couple of modern cars sort of snuck through, didn't yeah. they? But they got a pink sticker because the team at the festival were, were on it. So if you'd come yeah. up the wrong path, you got a little pink sticker on your, um, on, on your, on your windscreen. We was joking when we was watching them all coming in. The yeah. pink... the the, the car park of rejection or something. Yeah, They've got their own park of shame. Car park of shame. They've got their own little got car park. You've got a pink sticker and you can go over there. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a classic. You, you've tried to you've tried to beat the system in your 07 plate uh, Renault pink sticker. Off you go. Anyway, so we watched the whole of the convoy, didn't we? And there were some lovely cars coming in, and I only saw one car. Breakdown. No, two cars break There's down. One being towed. One that was being towed in, and we obviously gave that a round of applause. And the second being a um, mini. Whose which clutch got a bit actually, silly. Actually, clutch got a bit, yeah, yeah then he was all right, sticky. Then. Um, and then it was okay and, yeah. and, and carried on. From the convoy, what was your favourite moment? Oh, mighty boy. From the convoy? Yeah. Breaker, breaker with a buddy. Got oh. ourselves a convoy. <laughs> no, just watching them all coming in because you know, people was waving at us and yeah, yeah, it was people nice. sort of quite uh, what, recognised. What you. I really liked was there was a, a Fiat Multipler yeah, that came in like a, yeah. and the passenger was wearing a brown paper bag over her head <laughs> in the Fiat Multipler, which I thought I thought was very funny. Good humour. Uh, obviously seeing Steph arrive from iDriver Classic with her Proton, it finally arrived. Uh, and got working, which is good news. Yeah. And what else did we see? Lots of K11 Micros and yeah. some Rover 75s and bits and pieces. We had a good old wave at people. <laughs> so that was the convoy. What was your favourite car? Mm, I've already asked you that, but what was your favourite car from the convoy? Oh, mate. That you got to see coming in that you thought, I like to see that on the road, driving. Uh, you liked the Daimler, didn't you? you oh bit, yes, the Daimler Sovereign. You got a bit excited Series about that. Series 1 Daimler Sovereign, yeah. Yeah, so that was exciting. Yeah. Um, it wasn't strictly an unexceptional car. I thought that was a rather exceptional car. But yeah. Uh, I did excited to see that because I was working on them in that era. So then we went to the concourse area, didn't we? We had yep. a look around there. Um, 50 cars in the concourse this year, and you've said it multiple times, and i said it multiple times, the competition this year... Oh, it's tough. And, and the standard, very tough. I wouldn't want to be a judge in that lot. Uh, without wanting to spoil anything, at the moment of filming this, we don't know what's We won. don't know. No, we ain't got a clue. Um, what is your winner? Yeah, I told you, but I can't remember what it was now. It was the Daihatsu Shirad. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a totally Daihatsu or, Shirad. Or, or, totally original. It's, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm... There's a Subaru Justy in there. Yeah, you like that. I right? love it because it's purple, for a start. <laughs> but I also love it because it is perfect. That, to me, is my winner. Yeah. I, I don't know what the judges are going to no. do and say. We have our own criteria, which is original yeah. and a good story and actually 
that is an underappreciated survivor. Like a yeah. Vauxhall Astra Merit, Proton Black Knight, Datsun. Um, I, just, I wouldn't be surprised if that Justy wins. Well, like I say, I wouldn't want to be a judge because there's some lovely, lovely vehicles in there. Yeah. Lovely. And also James's Bluebird. Yeah. Who uh, I really like. I really like that car. So we've had a good look round the Concours and it's, uh, it's tough, I would say. Tough to be a judge. What would you be looking for, though, if you were a judge today at the Festival of the Unexceptional? Like I say, originality. Yeah. Not too over-restored. No. Not, because then you get to the fact where it's not a, cust a classic car anymore, it's a custom car. Mm. It's better than it was when it was new. I like to see them. So stuff that really is an underappreciated survivor. Oh, I definitely. Yeah. I'm the underdog. Yeah. We were just having a chat with um, a, a gentleman who has inspired us to do this. Uh, yeah. Reese. Yeah, Reese. Um, who hit the nail on the head in that he is a big fan of Mark One Toyota Yaris's, and it got me thinking. Actually, Reese, <laughs> when did I last see a Mark One Toyota Yaris? You don't. You know, a T-Reg. You don't see them anymore, do you? Because they're just people have not valued them, and they've just no. been killed. Disappeared. Yeah. Uh, they are the sort of modern takeaway delivery K11 vehicle of choice. Yeah. So we had a wander around the um, concourse and we enjoyed that. And then, then we went and had a wander around the show. The show is, is massive this year, absolutely massive. Um, I think there was over a thousand cars absolutely booked in. Absolutely unbelievable. So we've had a good old wander around the whole of the show. And actually, by the time we got to the end, people had started leaving. It was sort of two o'clock in the yeah. afternoon. Uh, and the show does go on until seven. It's sort of ten past four now. Um, what was your car of the show? That, or, or some memorable cars that you've seen what having a wander around? that funny little thing we saw? It was Nissan. like an AX1. Oh, no, a Nissan PAO. I've Powell. never, Nissan I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> It's, I think I built on a K10 or... That's what the man's, that's what the instructions yeah, say. Yeah, it's built on a K10. You said actually it does look like a Nissan Figaro it's inside. A lot like, the bits inside look like Figaro. You yeah. liked that? I did. I was, yeah. I've never seen one before. No. I'd like to have a tinker with that. Uh, I'm guessing it's quite primitive tech, It'd really. It'd be like a Nissan, will it? Yeah, like, just a, just like a like Nissan a K10, K10, K10 underneath. Yeah. Um, so we did that. We had a look at that. What else did you see that you liked? You had a look at that Daimler, as you say. That sounds nice. Are you looking it? at the? Is it a midget that's leaving? Yes, it is. It's it sounds lovely, doesn't it? Lovely old midget that's leaving now. See, that to me is quite exceptional. It's running crisp. That is. J Reg. What year is that? Seventy-one. Oh, there you go. Seventy-one midget. One thing I have noticed this year. There's a lot of modern classics, i.e., <laughs> yeah, nineties and two thousands, as opposed to cars from the sixties and the seventies. Whereas the past couple of years, there have been a lot of the older cars. We're getting a lot yeah, of modern... But this, this appeals to the younger generation, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, massively. But yeah. I think I think the amount of variety as well this year, very yeah, good. Any cool. other cars that you saw on the walk around that you think actually we want to discuss? I keep looking at Renault 4s thinking I want one. They look like little snails, don't they? Yeah, Renault, I, still keep, I keep Renault looking at them because I remember them from when I was a boy. They had them in the farms, had them and stuff. And but you've got a you've got a penchant for blooming Citroen two CVs yeah. and all that sort of thing, yeah. which shocks me a little bit because, well, I didn't put you down as I that. I think sort a Renault Four is probably a bit easier to drive than a two CV. But. Uh, you'll notice that Dad has changed now to having his jacket on because it's turned quite cool. Uh, old blokes feel the cold. Yeah, and we needed to um, just say goodbye to a few people. Um, where were we then? Yes, so I have checked out all the Protons at the show today. Steph's, Gavin's, and a couple that I sold as part of my collection. There were a lot of Protons They're here today. Good Protons, mate. Um, I think we've, we've made Protons too mainstream now. We need to, <laughs> need to find something rarer. What can we, we, I wish I hadn't sold that 11,000 mile Perodua Kalisa. But actually, it was too new to get into the festival oh, well concours then. for the next, I don't know, however many years. Why don't you just get something out of your garden and we'll make that popular? 
Make it popular? Yes. What's in the garden then that we can make popular? A4 B5s. Yeah, yes. Audi A4 B5s, that's a good shout. You yeah, make them popular. Yeah. It's been a really busy day here. It's been unbelievably. Um, it's been like being at work. Yeah, it's been great to meet so many people and I can't, I'm not going to start naming people because I end up forgetting somebody yeah. and everyone will get upset, but we've, Got we've met, know people. we've met, are you alright there? No, I'm bloody tired, man. <laughs> I'm ready for my bed. We've met a lot of, I'm going to say fans of the channel, people that watch people the that channel. People that watch it, yeah. People that follow me on Twitter, people that follow your escapades via the channel. And it's been really nice, actually, to meet lots of people, lots of yeah. interesting people who have said, and actually we had one guy say something really nice uh, yeah. in that he'd given up working on his cars. And I'll let you tell the story. Well, now he basically says watching us has said, in, encouraged him to start tinkering with his car again. Yeah. Because he's been neglecting his classic cars. Yeah, absolutely. And so that was a really nice piece of feedback that we um, yeah. that we got from the day, uh, which which was really nice. I'm getting distracted because there's a dog in a uh, in a in a carry cage. Yeah, That's it, how I want to be carried around later after my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a festival the fe trolley. Festival inspector. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yeah, it's been a really lovely day, hasn't That's it? Dogs worn out. You see, that's how I feel. What? You should take me in the trolley. <laughs> well, you're in. You're in this trolley. But we'll be home. back up there later in the trolley. Um, good. Been a really good day. Been a really oh. mixed day of stuff. Things that I would say have improved from last year. The offerings of food. Yeah, there's more food stuff. More, more food stuffs. The more toilets. More, the amount of toilets. Toilets are open earlier. Just the general feel of the show has been really nice this year. You did say something earlier which I think would be quite nice. A little auto jumble. Yeah, I think people would like that. Have a little area for stalls and auto jumbles. Yeah. I'm not sure why that's not done, really, if I'm honest with you. Uh, so, Haggerty, if you want to uh, maybe take that advice, get, get a little auto jumble on board, you'd, you'd be all up for that. With the people, the, the kind of people who do auto jumbles probably don't sort of fit into this criteria. Yeah, I suppose so. The auto jumble people are the old blokes who... Stuff for your got, Ford Pop. They've got stuff in their shed that they don't go anywhere, but they keep tinkering with it. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's one thing that These we... These people use the plastics, don't they? Yeah, but you might need a, I don't know, a window wiper for your Satria. Yeah. Bad example. Um, we are going to go then find out in, uh, I don't know, half an hour's time, the award and who won. We won't put it in this podcast because we won't spoil it, but I'm sure if you want to find out who won the Festival of the Unexceptional 2024, you can um, Google it, I suppose. It'll be all over social media. It'll be out straight away, won't it? Yeah, it will. Um, Anything else you want to say about the day here at the Festival of the No, nope, just I've really enjoyed it. You've had a good day. But I'm now blinking knackered. Yes. Um, lots of videos to come then. We're going to have Convoy of the Unexceptional, which is all the cars arriving uh, here today. Because uh, we set up a little camera and took a, a, convoy, pic a convoy video of everyone arriving um, up to about half past ten. If you arrived after half ten, you won't be in that video. Real apologies. You should also be in a, in a little video. We're going to have a chat of us having a wander around the Concours de l'Ordinaire. And we pick our top two. Uh, spoiler alert, you pick something that I didn't expect you to pick. Oh, right. Um, and we're also going to have a video of our sort of highlights of the day, because previously we did a full day video of the show <laughs> and it nearly killed me. It was like two and a half hours yeah. long, wasn't it? And you don't want to see much. two and a half hours no. of us wandering around the festival. People want to have 20 minutes just as a... And one of the great things is there are lots of people here that will be producing videos, YouTubers and well, vloggers. So, if you don't see your car in our videos, then the good news is you'll see it in somebody else's, no yeah, doubt. There's definitely. lots of content to watch. So, our content this year, a little bit different. Highlights of the Festival of the Unexceptional. I spoke to some really interesting people as well. Yeah. Really interesting people. Anything you want to say before we finish the podcast? No. Good. <laughs> Thanks for that.
Uh, I want to say a big thank you, of course, to Sustain uh, Fuels, who have uh, sponsored our journey here today at the uh, Festival of the Unexceptional. We're going to do some stuff with them in the future in that uh, they'll be giving me some of their sustainable fuel to test on the 1.5 SE. That's coming to the channel. I want to say thank you to the team at Haggerty who uh, invited us here and let us sneak in nice and early and have always, as always, been really Great hospitable to people. us. Uh, Adam, the event manager, legend. Mark, the CEO of Haggerty UK, always really um, welcoming and uh, supporting us. And uh, yeah, everybody that we've, we've spoken to today here at the Festival in Exceptional, I suppose you, really. A great bunch of people a all around. A great bunch of people all around. I think that... Everybody is a great bunch of people, aren't they? I've not had any negative experience from the day today. Definitely. And I think not. that is a good way to end this podcast. And the poshest toilets you'd ever find at any car show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the loos are good as well. Yeah, they are. Uh, we'll I'm, leave it then. On <laughs> the fiddle inspecting. <laughs> better than Lidl. Oh, yes. Much better than Lidl. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll leave it there then. A great day with a great bunch of people. I've had a great time. Hope you have too. Um, hope you enjoy the content that's coming. Thanks for coming with me. Thanks for driving the 1.5 SE and thanks for not breaking the window. Not uh, my fault, it's wildlife. Um, share your comments down below. What was your car of the show? What cars did you enjoy seeing? Um, and there'll be loads of other stuff coming yeah. soon. Till next time then, from us here, live at the Haggerty yeah. Festival of the Unexceptional 2024. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you haven't already. Photo. Subscribe, comment. Did you just hashtag photo? <laughs> He's learning, isn't he? Photo. Take care. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you. Bye. Photo? <laughs> What's that all about? Festival of the Unexceptional. Yeah. We could have photo. Festival <laughs> of the Inspectors. Yeah. Should we find out who's won now? Oh. Can you get out of there? Ah. Thanks for watching this latest episode of Pistons, the podcast. Another one is coming shortly, but if you haven't caught up yet, there's previous episodes on this page now. And don't forget to hit subscribe to always get caught up with the latest podcast.